Hi guys, we are back live. Oh, I don't know if it went. Hey guys, we are back live. We are painting this buffet and today we're adding the bronze. It's the metallic and so it's going to be going on the buffet. It's Texas Gypsy style painting uh, technique with the dry brushing and we've got three colors, one metallic and that's what we're working on today is the bronze so here in a few minutes we'll have our special guest say hello to y'all <laughs> i don't know how special that is she's but... our very special guest <laughs> always so i don't know why but for some reason they had two <laughs> I don't know. I don't remember seeing a handle here, but looks like it might have been like or a, maybe an another, applique, like molding. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. Who knows? So I'll have to fill those holes, and I'll just go back over that with um, that dark teal. No problem, though. But I wanted to get in here. Of course, I grabbed the wrong size thing. I wanted to see if I put my hardware in here. I can't remember. Mitzi Mendez, mm. she loves it. And Carrie says, hey from Texas. Carrie. Carrie was here yesterday with us. Yay. There we go. Okay, cool. Oh. That's and I do. You took off some of the old wheels, didn't you? Put the new the yeah. wheels on? I don't know if I'll put any back on there or not. So I just wanted to make sure that I had that. Those probably, those look like those might have been from like the centers. Mm hmm. And I kind of stuck there a little bit. But I, kind of, I get one of these out and smooth that edge out. If your drawers are close to your frame, you just don't want to get a lot of paint going there. Especially on these old ones that it will you'll stick. Yeah, what happens when you're in a non-climate controlled situation, aka garages, uh -huh. storage units, things like that, your wood will um, swell yeah so your drawers are going to um get a lot more sticky don is here by the way when you're <laughs> you hear me here. and you don't see me here let me i'll just come hi everybody mm -hmm. how are you yeah your drawers are going to swell sorry i'm the special guest by the way don is my special guest <laughs> i'm actually working on a project here today as well yeah she came over to hang out with me and brought her own little piece. So I'm doing some decoupage today. Decoupaging some really cute papers that she got. Yeah, you guys want to see what I'm decoupaging? Uh, my decoupage matches my shirt. It sure does. Look at it. Oh, I'm cute. decoupaging some awesome paper. This paper is from my friend Joni. Joni Sagara from Vintage Tide Decor. Well, it's it's her artwork. This is her artwork on this paper. And it was made by Roy Cycle. And it matches my shirt. Yeah, this paper is available from Roy Cycle Treasures. And she's got five different beachy uh, papers. She's got mermaids, um, these flamingos, uh, uh, jellyfish. Jellyfish. Super cute. Super cute. Awesome papers. And they're they're thick. Super thick. And they decoupage really well. These flamingos actually had one more flamingo off to the side, but I've already cut it off and used it on something else. So I'm going to be decoupaging this on a cute little table. Mm -hmm. So uh, Roy Cycle Treasures, you can get these papers. She's got five different beachy papers. Do you have that uh, cloth 
It's right behind you. Awesome. All right. So I had Sherry message me. Oh gosh, I should message Sherry and tell her we're on. Um. Do you think you could find Sherry? I. Let me make sure she's not on. Sherry, are you on? <laughs> Sherry messaged me earlier and asked if, um, sent me a picture of one of her pieces and asked if it would look good, you know, in this, with this painting technique, Texas Gypsy style. And of course I'm like, yay. <laughs> Texas Gypsy style. Right. So, um, it looked like it had already been painted, which is totally fine. It was a solid coat, and um, so that's perfect. Because what do we start with? A solid base coat. So she can go right over that and uh, act like she was trying to do it all along. And it'll come out looking totally different and awesome. <laughs> it's a really neat piece though. All right, so I just hadn't done this yet. So this is something that should be done um, prior, for sure prior to sealing. Uh, your pieces. You want to make sure you get all the vulnerable pieces of paint off if there are any. And then you want to wipe down that dust that you just created. I just use sometimes, this is just a Scotch Bright pad, which is a little more coarse than your finishing pads. So you can get this both of these at Lowe's. Lowe's. Mm -hmm. Lowe's. Lowe's sells these. Yeah, Lowe's sells Lowe's, the white one. Yeah, Lowe's sells for us where we are in Virginia. I don't know why. Uh, Lowe's only sells these, and then the Scotch Bright you can get anywhere. But I don't think Home Depot carries these in store. Yeah, they don't carry the white ones. So be sure to go to Lowe's for this one. Alrighty. And those white ones, when you're doing like a top coat, uh -huh. um, you can really get your top coat to shine with those white ones. Yeah. Just do a light, a really light uh, buff. Uh -huh. They're really good for a buffing. Yeah. All right. So y'all got a little lesson in finishing. <laughs> yeah. A little quick one. I'll, ha I'll do that on all, all entries and all that good stuff. So, all right, let's do our bronze. It's bronze liquid paint. I have only seen the white at Lowe's. Right, Carrie knows. So yeah, isn't that weird? Like you would think, you know, I don't know. I think though, if you request things from your uh, stores, kind of like at the grocery store, if you request particular items, um, they'll stock it for you. So remember that, just go to customer service or manager, whoever, and be like, hey, I want this and uh, let's stock it. So, all right. You can use um, any kind of metallic, you know, I use a liquid for most of these. <sighs> yeah, you can, the white ones are good because it's an actual finishing tool to use. So just a very light, you know, wax on, wax off kind of. And um that's going to definitely break down any, um, any kind of little Im imperfections maybe. 
If you do it too hard though, you will um, buff it away, you know, buff that shine away if you have shine. So it's something to practice with and work on. It, and if you do buff it away, um, just add some more top coat. Cool. <laughs> All right, so let me get down here. <clears throat> so we've got our three colors we've framed and we're gonna frame this one also. And I use a chip brush for this as well. Two inch, I chopped the top off. I dip my chip brush in paint and I wipe it back as much to a point as I can. Okay. This is the part that some people have trouble with. Um, if, if you feel like this brush is way too big for you, which I, I don't doubt it is for most, uh, get yourself out a little um, art brush, you know, something like that. So you can work around these little edges. Sometimes I do. Um, no water. Remember, no water. All right, so I'm, I'm just going to start framing this little side out right here. And I'm going very light on it. I don't want to overpower my paint that I just did. Even though I'm going over a lot of the places I've already done, I'm still not going to go over exactly where I went before. So <clears throat> this piece is actually going in a man's, a gentleman's um, room. It's not exactly a man cave, but it's kind of like a southwestern vibe place where his TV is going to be. His wife is decorating it for him. She's so sweet. And um, so it's a very, very, uh, you know, Native, Native American and um, very southwestern feel vibe in there for him. And this is like her present to him. So I want to make it, you know, look awesome and, you know, still I think she still wants some feminine qualities, but you know, some masculine as well. So I think my buffets are a very good mixture of that with the stained tops that we do in the very end. And that's what kind of brings it home for a lot of people. You have the, um, you have that mixture of uh, a natural element and um, yet there's, you know, like the metallic, there's some feminine qualities. So that makes it really nice for couples or, you know, um, husband and wives or whoever to want to purchase or paint like this. Cause it kind of, you can see how it's a very good all around way. Even, even with the wild colors, so. So how's everyone doing? <laughs> We're jumping into it. If you missed yesterday's lesson, uh, you can go back and watch it. Go to my live tutorial or live tab on my Facebook page and you can catch the first, if I'm not mistaken, all the videos from start to where we are now are on my Facebook page from on live videos. And I'll slowly be getting them all on my YouTube channel as well. Okay, so here's a box and I, um, I'm gonna like basically cut in here and frame out because we're obsessed with framing out when doing this. <laughs> do the framing before you go and do all your fancy stuff. That gives you the bit, your base, your base coats, your, and, and you can build off of that. Don't start building off of it too early because you need to 
do the framing and then step back and look at where you're at because you can easily you know overtake it with you know the color that you're currently working on um Carly's asking if you're going to be using the patina spray. No. You're just using the copper for the color. Just the color. Mm-hmm. You don't have to use the spray. It does have all those elements in it, uh, the metals that, that create that copper look, but you can use it just as paint as well. It just so happened to be the color that, you know, a couple of my customers really like because... You know, there's a million different bronzes and golds and, <laughs> you know, I kind of go through everything I have. I'm like, how about this one, this one, this one, this one. And um, so just remember to be open-minded in your paint selections and, you know, don't, you don't have to like conform to one thing. I mean, if you're doing custom orders, in my opinion, uh, we're offering, <clears throat> you know, customers... Um, I, I just, if it, if it's not going to look good with, you know, just one paint line, you can mix them. Most of them are water-based. Just keep that in mind. If it's all water-based, it's all good. Mix away. Even acrylic and like chalk paint. I do it all the time. Amen. That's what we're saying. We're saying it. We're saying it. When I am working with a lot of my colors, I try to imagine my sun is on the right side, beaming down to the left. So I'm trying to catch shadows and make, create definition and a flow. That's what I like to see. So I'm gonna have like some more um, of this bronze in certain corners and um, all that. However, I'm trying to also keep in mind that this is for a man and I don't wanna go overboard with the metallic unless asked. Um, because it's easy to do because it's fun and beautiful. <laughs> Our friend Kimberly Cone is watching and she says she loves this. Hi Kimberly. Yep, this is right up your alley, isn't it? And Miss Kimberly, I am decoupaging with one of Joni Cigar's Ooh. papers right now. You'll have her flamingos. Come show her. Oh. Cause she, since she didn't see it yet. Oh, like, hold on. I'm going to flip you around really quick and show you. I don't know. I'm, I'm just moving the phone. Can you see Joni's paper I'm decoupaging with? No. I don't know. Right there. Pretties. <laughs> oh, 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 yep. Yep. Now I'm breaking stuff. Yep. Put it back in the. As you know, I'm not technically. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Donna coming in hot. Coming in hot. All right. Here we go. <laughs> Did you see it? It looks pretty. Carrie, are you loving the, the, um, what, what are you loving? The gold and, and the flamingos. <laughs> okay, so here I'm framing out my drawer. I'm just taking my brush and flattening on these raised edges and that's very simple very you know very standard move um, I'm not pressing super hard because I don't want to like you know fill up everything with this bronze but I'm highlighting when you look at it from certain directions you're gonna see um, the bronze. So right here where I've um, created this lighter area, I'm gonna, I'm pretending that my sunlight's kind of coming from this direction again. And I'm gonna just 
add a few touches here. I'm Carrie not... loves the piece you're painting. Oh, she loves it. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. I am really excited about it because, I, like I said, I hadn't uh, done this color combo and I know it's like super well overdue to do it. <laughs> I try not to be like cliche, shall, shall we say. <laughs> I don't know. I just knew somebody would ask for it one day, so I like to, when I do things on my own, sometimes I like to just do something way different that somebody may not ask for. So, um, okay, so now I'm going to frame out over here. And even on this little decorative piece throughout the middle, I'm just barely hitting the tops. If I get it in the middle like I did right there, it's okay. It looks beautiful, doesn't it? <laughs> you gotta go, you gotta own it. You gotta go with it. I'm hoping that my, that I'm not sagging because I took those wheels out. That might be what's going on. Do you want to lift it and put the wheels back in? Um, I'll do it after I'm done painting. Sometimes that can happen in a, when you're working on bigger pieces. Um, if you don't have anything on the bottom, or like I took these two wheels off just to kind of see what would happen. You're gonna sag, so that's gonna, this brace basically is sagging and your yeah. drawers are gonna stick maybe. We'll see. It is also humid and hot, so that plays a big factor also. If you do have that problem and you are able to have someone help you or if you're able to bring it inside your home into the air condition and leave it for a good day or overnight, um, that helps tremendously. And if your customers come back to you and say, oh my gosh, my drawer's stuck. You can definitely give them that, um, you know, that's an option, you know, if, you know, if they're leaving the windows open, um, if it's sitting by a hot window, even though it's not open, um, if they just don't like to run the air, air conditioner, like some people. Shush, I do. Um, I like it hot. <laughs> also likes it freezing. I like it hot. Well, I just like it freezing at night. And then I can, freezing all day. I come and into then, her house and it's like 62 degrees. Some, and, yeah. Sometimes, I mean, it just stays and then I forget to turn it off. So, you know. <laughs> but, um, tell them they can bring or turn the air conditioner on and get those drawers unstuck. So. Unstuck them. Yeah. All right, so here I'm framing out around this molding and under it. I just cut in and draw my little line there. <clears throat> and my brush is not looking perfect, but that's I've just done it for a while, so you can cut off all these little runaways if you want. Um, I leave them because they kind of give me sometimes that little uh, sprig of paint <laughs> that I want. So, all right, so just frame this out all the way around. this also I do this on all the pieces drawers framing all the way around it's gonna give it a finished look up 
under here. I'm, I'm enhancing all these molds, but we're doing it a particular way. <clears throat> I even come up under the molds like I did see how I did with the light color teal all wet I'm just following that but smaller don't come in and do all get all fancy yet just frame everything out everybody gets a little too anxious and then we, and then we're not happy sometimes. So pump the brakes and take it easy. <laughs> take it easy. Let, it's like a lot, but it's, it's less is, less is more. I'm outlining, I'm framing out this whole mold the best I can. Um, with this brush. I don't want it to be perfect, so that's why I stick with it. If I'm perfect, it doesn't look like, you know, very realistic to me. And that's what I'm kind of going for. A pretty realistic faux distress, right? Anybody having any questions? Nope. Okay. Not that I see. All right. So I'm going to keep going up under here because this is a part of the framing. On all the buffets, I go up under with every color. Every color. Donna thinks I'm a broken record. All the time. She could probably say exactly what I'm saying. <laughs> Donna's going to be teaching it very soon here. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just outlining everything that has a a, right, a corner or an edge. Oh, Wendy Dodd says, hey, hot stuff. Love what you're doing. Hi, Wendy. How are you? Man, Wendy's been, um, been with me for a really long time now, haven't you? <laughs> a few years, seems like. She's been putting up with your shenanigans that long. She deserves a medal. Hey, Connie. I know, right? <laughs> and Connie, Connie, ha I've known Connie since I lived in Texas. Man. Man, where it all began. Don't tell them about my shenanigans there. No. Oh, Wendy's in Vegas? Yes, I forgot to tell you. Oh, my goodness, Wendy. She sure is. Donna just is selling her old... Wendy, I was on the news in Vegas not too long oh, ago. Yes. Maybe you saw my, <laughs> maybe you saw my uh, my uh, rental property. I, totally, I was on Fox Five. I totally forgot. <laughs> oh my gosh, I was on there with um. Oh my gosh, what was his name? Um, gosh, why did I just forget oh. his name? Um, oh gosh, I can't remember. Um, Andre. Um, oh. Oh my God, it's, now I'm like totally stumped. Maybe she knows which um, news channel, what channel was it? Fox 5. Fox um, 5? Oh, Wendy said, do tell. Yeah. <laughs> it's actually on YouTube. Oh yeah. Um, we'll have to share it's got, it. Gosh, now it's got like 140,000 oh views my, on I, YouTube. She's a star, you guys. It's out of control. Donna's a YouTube, a YouTube so star. So my, my tenants in Las Vegas, moved out 
and because of all the uh, moratoriums on um, tenants, they had stopped paying their rent for eight months and I couldn't evict. New laws yet, due to COVID. The new laws due to COVID, I couldn't evict. I couldn't, my property managers couldn't do anything. Their hands were tied. And they were playing the system. They oh, didn't actually have issues. Yeah, they were, they had said that um, they didn't want to go back to work because of COVID. And then they, <laughs> she they literally that, said that. Yeah, she said, I, don't, I just don't want to go, I don't want to go to work. I'm scared of COVID. Ugh. And then she knew that that wasn't the terminology she needed to use. Um, she knew she needed to say that she got laid off. So that's what she said. And she was just totally working the system the whole time. She had two brand new cars sitting in her driveway mm. when my property manager went by. Um, then she filed for government assistance. She got paid back eight, the eight months that she was late, but she had requested 10 months trying to work the system. Mm -mm. Um, I said, absolutely not. Do not you let need the to government read thing. pay her the 10 months because um, my husband works for the government. He's a, um, he has a government job, plus he's a Connie. soldier. He's been in the military 37 years. I did not want anything to you know, hurt his military career or us to get, you know, have any tax issues with her being um, fraudulent with the government. Mm. So she was so mad at my property manager catching the fraud she was trying to do. Um, then when she got caught up, her first rent check that she actually had to pay, she um, bounced. So they um, were able to ask her to legally move out. We gave her the 30-day notice. So when she left, she trashed my um, my rental property to the tune of over ten thousand dollars. Awful. Yeah, it's been an absolute Awful. nightmare. So my property manager called the news to have them um, see what the tenants were able to do and have it be shown what's happening with. The tenants having all the rights and the landlords having no rights. So it's been, it was on the news, um, what, it's been about maybe a month ago now? No. Yeah, I think it's been about Just a month. Just a couple weeks, I think. Yeah, maybe three weeks. Yeah. So, oh, Drew Andre. Drew, yeah. Drew Andre, that's, that's his right. name. Yeah. Okay, real quick. Donna, go, po go post it. Go post. Oh no, I can't post it on here. Okay, no on on our um. Oh, I am not posting page. it in our group. No. Yeah. No, I'm not posting it in the group. Oh heck. Okay. Um. So on here, I'm just gonna go around. That's where this is where I said you could get out your little small art brush if you need to. Um. I've kind of put where I'm gonna put maybe some more of this, but you see where my uh. Highlights are from like my son that I always talk say that, you know, <laughs> my imaginary son. I feel like I'm like, you know, I don't even like seeing things now. I don't know. <laughs> okay, back to you, Donna. Oh, uh, Wendy, I did, the, <laughs> I did the live um, via Zoom oh my from God. my house here in Virginia. Yeah. But it's it's on, um, you could probably find it um, on YouTube. It says something like tenant um, trashed um, house. I don't know. <sighs> I don't want to post it in the group. It's, it's <laughs> embarrassing. <laughs> but, but it's on, um, it's on Fox 5. So. But it's with Drew Andre. So that's who it's with. But look, the more people that know, you know, yeah. you're helping people. Yeah. So. But the only saving grace right now is um, I'm going to, I'm probably going to sell the, well, not probably, I am going to sell the property and the property values in Vegas are astronomical right now. So that's the only saving grace. Well, that's everywhere. Yeah. I never wanted to sell it, but after this Ugh. nightmare, I'm not putting another tenant in it. So beware if y'all rent properties and, oh, and don't anybody get any ideas, <laughs> right? Yeah, Carrie, I don't understand why people commit fraud either. It's, 
Ugh. You know, and you know, and I never really had too much of a problem with her. My property manager absolutely couldn't stand her. She was just a piece of work. And, but that's why I have a property manager because I don't want to have to deal with it. You know, I pay her to do her job and you know, it's like, uh, just, I don't know. It, it was she, stressful. She it was is, like threatening the property yeah. manager. So it got to be like, you know, ah, scary. Yeah, she, you know, uh, she had people call Donna on her personal phone. Yeah, she actually had the audacity after not paying her rent for eight months, when she found out that I wanted her to move out and I told her that the reason was because I was gonna put the property on the market, she actually had two different realtors call my house asking if she could buy the house. How do you have the means to buy yeah. a house but well, you, you haven't been able you to can't pay the rent pay for eight months, yeah. and you supposedly don't have a job. Yeah. Like, give me a break. I mean, people are just she gonna get else. she gonna get away with it too. So yeah, yeah. I called the Las Vegas police and filed a police report, and she oh she had put the refrigerator at the top. Oh, of I my thought stairs. you told him that. No, yeah. I haven't. Oh, yeah. She, uh, yeah, when you guys see the, um, when you guys see the yeah. YouTube, um, she, oh, the damage that she did, one of it was she moved my side-by-side -side refrigerator to the top landing of my second story of my house. And when the police got a hold of her, because um, I was trying to file charges against her for the damage that she did, and... She had told the police officer or the detective that the reason she um, had moved the refrigerator in general was that she had used her own refrigerator in the house. And the police officer or the detective said, um, well, why, if you used your own refrigerator, why didn't you just put her refrigerator back where it went? And she said, um, I don't know, that's just where it ended up. Yeah, the because, actual refrigerator. Yeah, she didn't have a, a fast enough excuse to tell <sighs> the detective why she put it on the second story. Ridiculous. But yeah. we couldn't, we couldn't um, get her for the vandalism and um, what she had done because we actually couldn't prove that it was her on move out because we didn't see her do it or didn't have video of her doing it. And she's shysty enough to know the laws. So hmm. the only the only thing I could do is take her and spend more money to cl small claims court and try and fight her there. But if I do that, who knows if I'll ever get a penny out of her. Mm -hmm. So it's just another thing of, you know, fighting the system. Awful. Yeah. Yeah, the refrigerator. She moved a side-by-side -side refrigerator <laughs> up to a second story and left it on the landing. Well, so her my, proper the my property manager couldn't even get to the second story to see what damage was up there because the refrigerator was blocking the whole second story. Mm. Well, her and the guy lived there. There were two people on the rental agreement. She stole all the smoke detectors. She stole the uh, the garage door opener that opens the um, you know the electric garage door opener. She stole that. She stole the um, thermostat oh. off the wall. She made holes in the wall. She stole the doorbell inside and out. Um, damaged the carpet. How, how much are your are your repair costs? My repair costs at at. At just you know nothing fancy seven thousand dollars plus um, that didn't that didn't include the carpet that cannot be replaced mm. so have to replace the carpet insurance won't even cover that yeah um, the carpet wasn't on that seven thousand dollars plus having to have the whole front of the house power mm. washed and all the trash that was outside of the house because I had gotten fined from my HOA um, for all the trash that she left outside and having to have the front power washed. So mm. that was another, um, that bill was $500 for the removal of the trash and the front of the house power washed. 
and they each have a record. Yeah, and when we filed the yep. the with still won't do anything. The Las Vegas Don't Police matter. Department they had a record. What's the point? How they were already in the record. system, is what they said. What's the point? <laughs> Carrie, I can sue her for damages, but what the um, what the lawyer said was um, I have to fight. I have to get. Um, a detect or what was what was it that sh Julie said? Um, oh. I have to get a private de investigator to find her <laughs> first. So I have oh to spend money to do that. Then um, I, I have to actually win in court. And if I do win in court, then they have to see if her if she isn't still employed, if they will actually attach wages. If she makes enough to attach wages, mm -hmm. and if her employer will actually spend the money to attach wages, because it has to go through her employer, and it costs money to attach wages. Did we all know all of these things? It's insane. You guys are getting a lot of bang for your, your buck here <laughs> today. <laughs> They've been in the property for five years, and yeah, she's no? been laid a couple of times in the five years. And when she actually got into the property, she had just recently got divorced and she wrote a letter asking my property manager at the time um, if I would take a chance on her oh. and um, that she would uh, do better. I think her credit score at that time was below 600. And um, yeah, so she wrote this old, old sob story and you know at, said all, these, all the right things to my property manager. Mm -hmm. Asking if she, you know, could rent the rent the place and yada yada yada, and she really wasn't a a super bad tenant for five years. You know, late here and there, and you know, paid her late payments and made up and hmm. this and that. But when COVID hit, she just went buck wild and started working the system and did everything she could do to not pay her rent and literally work the system because she had her job and continued to work and just bought new cars and did whatever she could do and worked all the moratoriums. Um, can I serve her via publication in the newspaper? Um, I have to actually hand serve her is what the lawyer said. I can't do that via newspaper. I actually have to and serve her hmm. and the retainer for the lawyer is a thousand dollars and then plus the court costs so it's not cheap and I and I can't sue her for the court costs or for the lawyer and I don't know if I would actually win and ever get a penny back from her A lot of information. Yeah, it's just a, it's just a nightmare. She dealt with this since COVID started. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah from the day that um, the governor said that they could not, that they didn't have to pay their rent, she stopped paying, and she told my property manager, she doesn't have to pay her mortgage. Why do I have to pay my rent? Mm -hmm. Exact words to my property manager. <laughs> I said, who told her I didn't have to pay my mortgage? Yeah. Mm. And in the five years that she lived there, I never raised the rent on her. Yeah. My mortgage was actually more than her rent. So, she, you know, I, I treated her well. And for her to do this is just, it's disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. But, you, you know... Like I said, the only saving grace is that the market right now in Vegas is high and I can just wash my hands of it and be done and move on to something else. Maybe buy this pretty little lot next to Krista. And yes. It was meant to be. Maybe. <laughs> All right. Well... We are just going along here, painting. Look Paint. at how pretty those legs are on that buffet. 
Oh, Here, gorgeous. I'll just back it up for y'all. No, you have it perfect right on it. Oh, well, I was just going to kind of show the whole. <sighs> oh, in Dallas, there's no system to work. That's good. Good to hear. Uh, 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 uh. Crazy yeah, it looks good. All right, so I can um, show you guys. That's a good um, little lesson on how to do the front, and then let me show you all the side real quick. I mean, happy with that. Um, I get my wheels to. Yeah. That's where you going? I uh, just want to go that you got to turn those wheels somehow. there we go yep yep right there okay. good yeah okay what color are you highlighting with it is bronze a dark bronze. It's a gorgeous bronze. Um, all the different paint lines have different um, versions of their bronzes and coppers and all that. So, a lot of the times I use gold. I, I really love gold, but this bronze is a really good alternative. For... Well, hello, Miss Nature. Miss <laughs> <laughs> Nature on. Miss Nature's on. Okay, so we did this yesterday. We framed out, and um, so I'm going to frame it out again. Here we go. <laughs> Nature says it looks amazing. Oh, thank you, hon. I saw you up in your booth last night. It was the bomb.com. Oh, you know that um, <laughs> that uh, weird and wonderful things that you find at the thrift yeah. store? So somebody posted this creepy doll. Oh. And guess where it was? In the shop that nature's in. You're kidding. Oh, no. <laughs> Did you tell her? Yes. Oh, my God. She said she was going to find it and pose with it. I said, don't you, do don't you dare because I'm going to have nightmares. <laughs> That's funny. Oh my gosh. I know. Hello, nature says. Hello, pretty. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I mean, our shop at Design and Consign is kind of like that too. Yeah, we get some, some funky stuff. We get some crazy things in. Uh, Wendy, the bronze is actually one of the patina paints from um, Dixie Bell. So you could. Um, if you spray the patina on it, it will change. It's got the metal in it. You don't have to. Yeah, you don't have to. You can use it just as a regular paint like Chris is doing. But if you wanted it to, you know, to patina, it actually would. Donald, or she went looking she for the doll. <laughs> she couldn't find it. That's funny. Yeah. She said there's a, um, one of her vendors has like all kinds of dolls in their booth. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I think she said her kids like run from it. Oh gosh, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I would too. Yeah. They don't want to go near it. Yeah. It's creepy. Creepy. It's a little creepy. Yeah, it's a little creepy. Hmm. So on these, I'm, I frame out my little squares also, same as I did before, just, you know, going in different spots a little bit, and then I frame out my rectangle right here, and I go over my little imperfections once again, kind of just lightly, I mean, I'm not, 
I'm not doing it with a lot of paint here. All right, and then, so I've already framed out all the way around this, and then I'm just gonna come in and add a few touches of this bronze and do some little faux distressing and kind of bringing it down or over. Bless you, child. Sorry. Isn't it better when Donna's here, you guys? <laughs> oh. She's got allergies. Bad. You okay over there? No. <laughs> Nature says we're the best team. We are. Right? You should hear us in the truck laughing. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot. It is. But then we get tired of each other and go home and yeah. start over the next we day. We always know when it's time, mm -hmm. too. Yep. Are you ready? Are you, yep. are you ready? Are you well, well, I guess are that's it for today. Yep. Are you ready to go? <laughs> oh my gosh. Yep. That's, that's, our, that's our, our tap out time. Yeah. Are you tired? Are you ready to go home? Okay. Bye. See but later. I call her every day after I drop Waylon off at school. Usually. every. Well, I, I call her every day at, after that. But usually not before that and we plan out our little day mm -hmm. we like we're like co-workers but without you know officially being co-workers you know what what is awesome about Krista and I is that we can do the same job and paint completely different and not have any jealousy towards each other and be each other's biggest fans and uh -huh. you know and we see a lot of jealousy on other people other painters and you know it's like yeah we, I, got, we ain't got none of that no we love each other we do we really do our husbands are gone a lot also, so yeah. it's just, it's awesome. And you know what? Today is my 15-year wedding anniversary. <laughs> well, she, and, she's and here with me. I'm here with Krista. <laughs> and what's even funnier is my mom <laughs> sent my husband and I some gift cards to go out to dinner. And my mom says, why don't you take Krista to lunch? Oh, my God. I love it. <laughs> I love it. So let's go. Oh, my gosh. We need to go. I know. Let's just go. My mom knows I'm probably going to go to lunch with Krista anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Oh, gosh. We do love to go do our lunch. Ew. And, yeah. Sometimes we get a little work done. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh. I love you. I love you more. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be here today. Probably if it weren't for Donna. Hey, but amen. Like, right back physically at you. and mentally. Right back at you. <laughs> yes, because uh, I think we both been, had. We had a lot going on at that. Yeah, when we met. When we met, yeah. We uh, because I like for your I like for people to sign a disclosure form <laughs> before they opt in <laughs> and to the friendship. Yeah, yeah. When somebody says to me. Hey, let's, you know, we can go get coffee or, you know, I take a big, deep breath because they have no idea what they're, what they're in for. Carrie missed a section, the hub's call. Woo! Carrie, you missed Oh, Carrie. You missed where we were saying that we were 
Donna and I are BFFs. <laughs> We're friends and we don't have jealousy towards each yeah. other. And Today's my anniversary and I'm my 15 year <laughs> anniversary and I'm me. spending it with Krista. <laughs> and we're going to go eat lunch on her gift card or mom's center for their anniversary. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so when Krista and I first met, um, I actually, like, I think we both kind of followed each other followed each other's work and and I, oh, I was trying to buy stuff from her own yeah, marketplace she was and I think she dogged me I think she you know like came I, in hot wanted to buy it and then ghosted me I was busy stuff. I was just busy right I was just busy I really loved it though but she um what what was kind of funny is we you know we like knew who each other were and we knew we both painted and you know things like that but um my, oh, another friend of mine who also paints um Jennifer she actually um, was had a sprayer, and she oh. wanted to use a <laughs> wanted to use a different well, this sprayer. Way, yeah, we met because I was a retailer for General Finishes. Um, this was um, my first spot. <laughs> I've moved around spots in our uh, sh in my sh the shop that we're in um, like ten times because that's just how I am. And, um, so this was my very first spot in our shop and, um, I was over there and I just had a very small one cause I honestly didn't know if we were going to be transferring with my husband's job. He's coast guard. So it was very, I didn't know. And, but I was the retailer and so I had my paint paints up and everything and she was coming over looking at them. She had never tried it before. And, um, so we just kind of like chit chatted and left it at that, kind of. Well, this was before I had messaged Krista about no, my friend. No, 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 no. No, this no. was before when I uh -uh. messaged you about the sprayer. No, this and then was you, after. Like, you didn't even message me back. No, this was after. This was after because that was our first time to meet officially in the shop. Yeah. Oh, okay. But and then you messaged me. Oh, okay. And, um. Donna's my first, like, real, 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 real paint, I mean, like, painting friend, I yeah. guess, and, because, you know, you have some bad experiences, and, yes. um, <laughs> I took my deep breath, and, but, um, she asked me what paint sprayer I used, and this was, I come from a, a time of painting where, um, you don't talk about what you do. Yeah, you don't share you, your secrets. You, you hold it, you hold it tight, and um, so it was really hard for me to share things. And um, so Donna comes in all hot. <laughs> it wasn't even for me. I didn't asking me about my paint sprayer, like, and I'm I don't like, really spray. I have to let it sit for a few. I have to let it sit for a few days and think about it. What I'm gonna do? <laughs> yeah. So she wouldn't message me back. Yeah. And it wasn't even for me. It was for my friend Jennifer. <laughs> And I was kind of like, um, are you going to tell me or are you just going to like ignore my message? Yeah. <laughs> and so I think I kind of had to tell her, um, it's not for me. It's for my friend Jennifer. And, mm -hmm. and so finally she, she told me and then like later on I was like, why wouldn't you tell me what sprayer you used? And ba so basically I was like, you want, you want something for nothing is what you want. <laughs> yeah. I'm pretty straightforward when it comes to things of that, yeah. but um, you know, that's just what it, what it was. And, you know, I can't really, I can't help it. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, it's a interesting, uh, world now with all this, you know, going live and, uh, sharing techniques and, um, you know, giving away everything we've done for... Yeah, how much uh, we've grown, huh? So, it's, um... Just know that this was very hard for me to, uh, show. And I don't ask for anything from it. Hell, I don't even... I'm not even... I, I don't get anything. Yeah. I don't get anything for doing this. So... Oh, Carrie said that, um... Her husband's an army veteran. Carrie, my husband's army as well, and that she's. I'm also a veteran. And yeah, oh, her friend Rob is in the Coast Guard down there. Oh. And she's. Who? Where? Um, Carrie? Her, 
friend Rob is in the Coast Guard down there. Oh, what's his last name? And nature needs to come down here and hang out with us. Yeah. Well, I'm thinking that we should set up like a paint, um, painting, um, what do you call it? Like a place to come and... S Absolutely. Now that you've got this big old garage... Furniture painting B&B. &B. Yes. Amen. Yeah, I need to redo the top of this in my garage. And, um, you know, Pir then people can fly in and... Peroni we can do the, is do his last name. Oh, okay. Thank oh. you for your service as well, Carrie. Oh, Carrie was... Yeah. In the Coast... Uh, Carrie's... Uh, husband was army oh okay and peroni is her coast guard friend last oh. name oh yeah i was in the coast guard for about nine years i got i got out in 2013 but my husband's active duty coast guard he's stationed in chesapeake justin mulkey he's actually um in bahrain right now so doing fun things yep But yeah, Krista got this big old garage now, and he, uh, we need to have some fun girl painting time. I know. Oh, Carrie's a retired firefighter. You go. Woo! We say coming in hot. She that coming in hot. Girl, I. Wow. That's awesome. That is awesome. She Rob's ain't. in the Virginia Light. Beach area. He's Jag. Oh. Oh, I could use him. <laughs> yeah. We all need a jag. We all life. need a jag, that's for sure. <laughs> awesome. Well, tell him to come to the shop. Judy says, hold come the shopping workshop with and this us. Dallas woman will be there. I seriously was thinking about it, and then I was also thinking, you know, I mean, the possibilities are so endless. I you know. know. Like, renting out, like, maybe a little bay uh -huh. um you know you never know because i know just like me or just like i was you know not that long ago um i was begging like um our so i want to say that one of the big reasons that we moved shops design and consign uh -huh. um was because we all kept begging for more space yeah and robert kept asking us like every now and then he's like so you want more space, you know, like he was kind of fishing, you yeah. know, like, mm -hmm. see, and we're like, yes, absolutely, we'll take over this whole place, you know. <laughs> so Carrie retired from D.C. and did four years with uh, T Texas DPS Law oh. Enforcement Support. Okay, so my parents are, uh, well, my mom retired, um, po police department in El Campo, Texas, that's where I'm from, and, um, my dad uh, retired from uh, the Wharton County Sheriff's Department, so he was a deputy. Mm -hmm. So I am very familiar with the police and, and of course, the uh, DPS. <laughs> That's really cool. Going down Highway 59. Yep. I lived in... Um, Carrie said her dad was SRA. What is SRA? SRA. What's SRA? Okay, I don't, maybe I'm not as savvy. <laughs> maybe that's the State of Arkansas Investigations. Ooh. Oh. My dad she actually She said that was, was a typo. <laughs> oh, I'm like, what's that? Um... My dad was doing the investigation officer stuff when he retired. He was a deputy and did that. Uh, but awesome. Very awesome. Yeah. Yeah, now that, you know, everything's kind of getting a little bit more back to normal, it would be nice to do some, um, have some, you know, painting yeah, we painting classes talked and about stuff. Doing yeah, definitely. The reach we do retreats. Do yeah, absolutely. And because we're in such a high military area, we have such um, a lot of uh, places for people to stay and 
things like that around here, which is nice. Uh -huh. Where Krista is, we're just a hop, skip, and a jump from an army base, and where I'm at, I'm literally at the door of Langley Air Force Base. Well, let me do, okay, so I'm gonna do some highlighting on this top right corner here. Just a little bit. It looks really shiny. Right now I think it looks really shiny, maybe for y'all, I can't tell with the sun. So once it goes inside the home, you're not gonna pick up, you know, direct sunlight like that most likely. Um, I know he does have a window in there, but it's going to be like on a back wall. It looks like they have some low lighting or like uh, some ceiling. We call that recess lighting. Um, so I think it will pick up nicely and not overbearing. A lot of times I know everybody gets afraid when they see all this shiny stuff, but it's subtle. And even, even if it is too much, you can go over it with a flat top coat. Take that shine right off. So you'll have like a mute metallic color, if there is such a thing. Obviously there is. <laughs> Which is basically kind of like a flat wax, but you know how some things have a gloss and some things don't, but they're still metallic. That's kind of what you can do with a flat top coat or a gloss. I just went real deep right there. It's pretty. It's really pretty. I was, did y'all see my vision? Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> Sometimes I gotta, I gotta, I gotta throw it out there like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It looks really pretty. Yeah. So I'll finish this up. I'm gonna stain the top, most likely a beautiful walnut color. Mm, mm, -hmm. mm, mm. mm. Gold. Mm. I gotta work on the inside of the doors because they are ugly. Um, let me see real quick. I'll show you real quick. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. And also, we gotta do the. Um, it's really ugly over here. I don't know what's going on. But could sand those. Yeah. Sand them. Um, Restain them. Yeah. We'll see what happens. I've got to get a, what do you call these things again? I forget. Door stops. Door stop. Mm -hmm. Is that what it's called? Mm -hmm. With yeah. the things you hammer in? Yeah. I've had to get these off of eBay. I think I gave you some. I gave you some. No, I gave you some. No, you didn't. Oh. I gave you some. No. No, you didn't. I gave you. Don't even try it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Oh, Thank Jordan, you. The, the metallic she's using is um, actually bronze patina. Look, let me tell y'all something. I am not promoting anything, okay? <laughs> but Donna can tell y'all what it is. Yeah, it's just, it's bronze patina. Just not using the spray on it, that's all. I do promote Redesign with Prima. I'm, I'm a retailer she and a content a creator. Content creator for Redesign with After Prima. this project, I gotta get busy on my redesign stuff. I have CC's new collection. I'm super excited to it be showing amazing. you guys what I'm gonna be busting out with that. It's gonna be fun, super awesome, exciting stuff. Yeah, the copper patina is pretty too. Yeah, copper. I normally use copper. Um, not really a bronze person. Um, I actually am more of a gold, like yellow gold. It just goes with a lot of things that I do. It it has a good pop for me. Um, Y'all know I like the pop. So, all right. Um, I don't know if I'll show y'all how to stain uh, because... I don't know, I might. I do have a super easy tutorial on that on my YouTube channel. It is an edited video tutorial. So I think you'll really like it. <laughs> oh oh, all right, love y'all. Thank y'all so much for joining in. I'm so glad.
Donna was here to share her story with us. Hopefully y'all learned something from that or y'all can share that with somebody else. And I got my little decoupage done. Oh yeah, let's, behind the scenes. let's show off the decoupage real quick. Can they see it? I don't know. Can y'all see it? <laughs> can you see it on your phone? Um, I'm behind. I'm behind oh, schedule. Oh, yeah, oh yeah, here we go. Oh, and just FYI, you have to turn it, turn it this oh, way so oh they can gosh, see it. Goodness. Oh, it's, it's this really table heavy. Is heavy. To make the decoupage paper pop, um, paint like a um, white, a white underneath, or a light color, or a light color underneath, because it really makes your decoupage paper pop. Yeah. So that's why it's just painted where the decoupage paper is. Yeah. And this decoupage paper is um, from my friend Joni Sagara of Vintage Tide Decor. She has like five different papers. They're all beachy. Um, this paper here does have another flamingo that I used she, she on. Paint, she painted several paintings. Yes. And they basically took her paintings and put them on these tissues, um, you know, as her very own collection. Correct. What? An oh, awesome amazing. thing. Amazing. Yeah. So they're available at um, Roy Cycled Treasures. She's a furniture painter. Yeah. M like she furniture paints and does. Mm hmm. She paints this on her furniture. Yep. So yes. yeah. So these are um, from her collection. She has flamingos, um, jellyfish, um, mermaids, mm. and an octopus. That's super cool. So if you want to check them out, they're available at Roy Cycle Treasures, and um, they're from my friend Joni. So if you want to check them out, check them out. They're really cool. So, all right, y'all. Thanks for joining us today. This is not a paid promotion. No, it's not a paid promotion. <laughs> I just love my friend Joni, and I love her papers, and oh. um, I love everything beachy. So thank y'all. We'll see y'all later. All right. Bye. Bye. -bye. <laughs> Oh, man. See y'all. <laughs>